All right, it's Carson and Kennedy. We're backstage right now with Blondie at MixFest. And I want to first go to you. I have to ask you this question because I feel like Kennedy goes to this pain. She works with guys. Huh. There are guys around all of the time. <laughs> and I feel like for how many years you have been around with these men? What, is, what has it been like for you all of these years? <laughs> That's pretty much what I do every single day. <laughs> yeah, we, have a, we have a great group, you know. We, uh, I guess since we've been together for so long, we know what to expect. Mm -hmm. The good, bad, and the ugly. Mm -hmm. From all of us. I mean, um, I certainly have my days. Oh, me too, honey. Yeah. Don't I? It's <laughs> usually Monday through Friday. <laughs> what can I say? You know, they're, they're guys. You guys. <laughs> so I, the new album you guys recorded at the Magic Shop. Am I getting that right? Right. Yes. Yeah. And David Bowie had just filmed his last album there Correct. before yeah. you came in. What the was last that like? Two he what did was it there. like doing the record there? Well, it was kind of profound because you know when we entered the Magic Shop uh, before Christmas 2015 to begin the record, we were all very excited to be there because we were on home turf in Soho in New York, where we all kind of hang around. And uh, you know the fact that David had been in there in seclusion for the last couple of years doing the next day and black star mm -hmm. it was pretty uh awe inspiring you know and well, I, on that black star kind of album informed. is just incredible yeah the it's record was kind of informed by that and then we took the christmas break and that's when david died so that when we came back that was even obviously it more was emotional and, uh, it was emotional yeah. yeah and i think a bit of that is definitely in the uh the album in pollinator you know what do you remember about david i saw a fantastic picture of the two of you together Chris probably, probably late it. late seventies, early eighties. Yeah, so when we were on tour with Iggy and David was playing keyboards in seventy seven, he David was a consummate professional. He was mm -hmm. just yeah. a ge Jebby gentleman and I, too. Jebby and I actually saw him prior to him having that uh, incident on stage. I forget where we were, but somewhere uh, yeah, uh, but it was right, right before he got ill. I had seen him great I saw him a couple of about two years prior, right when Everyone was hearing that Lou Reed was ill, mm -hmm. right? And we were talking about being worried about Lou, you know. So it was, iro it was ironic. That was the last. And time talk I saw about it. working with some of the current pop stars. Uh, so uh, on the new album, Charlie XCX and also Sia. And when I when they I they don't see seem fun at all. <laughs> they don't seem like any kind of fun. When to I have. see these women uh. like Sia, like Charlie XCX, there's so much of Blondie in who they are, not just uh, musicians, but as people. You're you're you're. Your blood is all over what it is that they do now. So what was it like to work with them? Well, uh, we didn't actually go into the studio with them. I met Sia at the, uh, I guess it was the 40th anniversary of Saturday Night Live oh, right, for right, the right. first time. And um, we talked briefly, um, but um, we really wanted to get a song from her. She's such a magnificent songwriter. And uh, so she did this one with Nick Valenti from... Strokes. Uh, strokes. Oh, so that was that was kind of cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. You know, what goes around comes around. It's sort of what the theme of you know pollinator is about. You know, because we we were in turn pollinated by people before us. You know, and that's that's the part of the beauty of the evolution of music and of, of our business. Actually, yeah, it was nice getting something from one of the Strokes on the record because those guys reference all the CB's bands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know. And talking about the start. Of Blondie, my uncle actually he worked at CBGB's. He was one of the security guys back what in the day. What was his name? John Walsh, Johnny Walsh. Maybe okay. Big barrel chested dude, but uh, every, they, they all really have yeah, exactly exactly. All named John. I just described every Irish security guard in New York City. <laughs> but uh, you know, talking about that, you know, like you're going to be going out there playing in front of thousands of people today at this giant festival. But going back to the roots of CBGB's and playing in those gritty clubs, I mean, is it's. Do you just still get that same feeling when you're out there on stage now? I Probably the opposite. I think anybody's playing in a bar for 20 people thinks of themselves in front of thousands of people. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I, it was all, I mean, it's relative because it was all very exciting and, and thrilling and new. So, and, you know, it, it's always exciting to, to play for an audience. It, there's mm -hmm. no way. I mean, if you went out there and you were just bored by it, why do it? Yeah. Club scene in New York, probably like here, had a very heavy social component, mm -hmm. which was just like, well, that's what you did. You went out on the weekend. Of course. Like, Clem and me realized we never watched Saturday Night Live ever. In <laughs> because the early you were out, days. Every, we Saturday were out every Saturday night. Of course. 
We all yeah, used to same. go to CBGB like almost every night. It was like really like rock and roll high school. We literally. played for every weekend for seven months in a row at one point. You're kidding me. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And when, you know, we kind of <laughs> Nobody was there, it. but. <laughs> Whatever. I'm sure there's a lot of We there. play. Well, we got a lot of people that are here to see you this afternoon. Mix Fest, right on Happy the, uh, to be here. the Esplanade. And we really appreciate you guys coming back and doing Mix Fest. Big round of applause to everybody. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and it's love. great to be here.